Thanks for taking pictures. Yeah. Make sure you guys speak a little bit loud. Some background noise. Yeah, got okay. you. Got it. Thank you. So we're here with MIT. Um, we just felt Pomona Pitzer in the semifinals for the USA Water Polo National Championships. Um, we're here with head coach Austin Ringheim and John Steele, Richard Yoon, and Evan Kowal. Um, so can you guys just like individually just go down and kind of give us your synopsis on the game and kind of how everything went out there today? Hey, so overall the game, I mean, first half, first quarter, we played well. We were excited. We came out, got the first goal, and we were feeling it. And then we just kind of started made a couple of mistakes and let the game just kind of fall out of hand. But then second quarter, we or second half, we regathered ourselves and tried to just go out there, play our best polo, because we know we didn't do that early on. And that was the mindset going forward. And we started picking it up. We ended up winning that second half. And our goal just moving forward is go tomorrow and play the best polo we can and play as a team. So that's the goal, and that's what I love doing. Yeah, I think basically um, kind of what John said, I think we started off well. I'm a little too slow to make adjustments in that second quarter, um, but I mean, I think we did a pretty good job making adjustments in that second half and making it a more competitive game. And, you know, I think we want to carry over what we were doing in that second half into tomorrow against whoever we're playing and, you know, ultimately get that win. Yeah, obviously Pomona Pitzer is the number one seed, and I think we went into this game pretty hyped and pumped. Um, I think that showed maybe the first quarter, but then I think a few mistakes on our end um, kind of shifted the momentum towards them, and then we kind of we tried to catch up, but the lead was too big, ultimately. So going off of that, it was a really close game early on. I think it was 3-1 to one for the majority of that first quarter and into the second half. Um, you guys scored really early and then really struggled to try to get the ball in the back of the net um, in the first half. So. Where did that uh, momentum shift where you guys were close early and then Pomona Pitzer started to get away? You had some good defensive stands early, but then the Sagehens kind of took it away from there. So that kind of what was the deciding factor in that? Yeah, I think it's kind of two things. I think one offensively, um, we just we didn't one thing we just weren't putting away the good shots that we had, but also our shot selection was kind of poor. Um, I think second half we were more deliberate with what shots we were taking, um, and you know I think on the offensive end it translated into the defensive end too. Um, just not making the adjustments with um, stopping their center from hitting those backhands, and you know ultimately we did a better job of that in the second half. So um, again, kind of just making the adjustments uh, too late, I think, just shifted the momentum in terms of needing to make better shot selection and uh, ultimately play better defense. Yeah, I agree with Evan on that. I mean, we had a, a few passes in the second quarter that weren't great or a few opportunities that if we were just on it a bit more, we would have put it away and it would have been a whole different game at that point. So we just got to be crisper with our passes and make those small adjustments and it's going to become a much closer game that we can play well in. I also think, like... Um our offense kind of got stagnant, and that also, I think that could be seen on the defensive end as well. And once we became like stagnant and stopped moving, it led to less opportunities, and it just kind of went on from there. Yeah, definitely. So obviously, losing a guy like Kyle early in the game, big impact on the offense. How do you guys think you adjusted to losing him? I mean, you know, out for the majority of the second half, but you guys were able to regroup without him. So how did you guys work through losing a big, important key player like that? I mean, yeah, obviously Kyle is a real center of our team. Um, you know, like actually, actually, I guess. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that, but I'm just saying, like, um, you know, obviously we had to, um, like Richard was saying when Kyle was out, um, that obviously is a time not to get stagnant because we need to attack more post-ups, more drives. So I think we did a good job of that. Still did a nice job in center there um, in the second half. But, again, that's something that we just needed to, make, to do quicker. Um, and ultimately, you know, we're excited to have Kyle back, um, you know, tomorrow too. I mean, he's such a huge player on the team. And, you know, not even just in terms of how he um, affects the game, but just even as a leader and a voice out there, we're excited to have him back. Yeah, and then on that one, kind of from my perspective, as far as um, kind of how we made those adjustments, uh, it honestly was the next man up mentality. I think the gentleman did a really good job of um, 
when they realized that, that he was going to be out for the rest of the game, it was really um, who's going to be the next one to step up. They definitely did not just uh, roll over and kind of succumb to the fact that Kyle was out for a quarter and a half. It was more, all right, we still need to create. We still need to get these opportunities. And how do we do that? And how do we best utilize our athletes in that situation? And I think they did a really good job of really rising to that occasion. Yeah, I mean, Kyle got out. We realized we really just got to – we can't be stagnant. We got to move. We don't have our big guy in center who's been helping us all season and has played amazing. So I went in there trying to set a bit, post up. I was clear out. We'd have Evan or anyone just try and make that movement be – just attack that middle in hopes that we can force them in that drop that they were in that first quarter and kind of start picking it back up and make sure we get a better shot selection closer in and hopefully we can finish from there.